Hey guys, Resurfing here. Uh, taking a break from Layers of Fear because that last one was long. Uh, so I looked up on Itch.io to see if there's any new horror games. Turns out there was. Uh, this is a Twine game called... Uh, actually, I can't remember what it's called. I think it might be just called the... Actually, no, the title's not on here anywhere, so uh, I apologize for that. It, I, I'll make sure that's in the title when I actually post it. Uh, but it's about witchcraft. Uh, it seems to be during the Salem Witch Trials, I'm not sure. Uh, It might be the incident at Black Rock Township. I'm not sure. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into this. This is another Twine game similar to Branches, uh, which I did find out the second part does not appear to have ever been made. Uh, all right, let's get to this. Oh, there it is. The Curious Incident at Black Rock Township. It is by Bitter Corella. The incident began in 1705 at Black Rock Township in the province of Massachusetts Bay in the house of Reverend Steadfast Hopkins. The Hopkins household in 1705, Reverend Steadfast Hopkins, 52, Prudence Hopkins, 40, Free Gift Hopkins, 14, Diffidence Hopkins, 8 months, Azola Midnight, 22, Black Rock Township Records, After an even meal, the Reverend's daughter, Free Gift Hopkins, fell into a violent fit. Within a fortnight, four other village girls fell prey to similar fits. Suspicion immediately fell upon the Hopkins serving girl, an oft -rebelli rebellious and headstrong native of the West Indies named Azola Midnight. The month we Don trade a cow of considered worth for a girl to work the farm. This girl is called by the heathen name Azola and resisteth all manner of Christian blandishments. She came to us from Santo Domingo at the age of 19 summers. She is oft rebellious and headstrong, as is the way of her kind, and persists in the blasphemies of her ancestors, but she can be made to recite the Lord's Prayer if she is put to the lash. However, she has a gift to quiet the baby with the lulling songs of her tongue. Diary of Reverend Steadfast Hopkins, 9-12-1703. Yeah, this is definitely... Okay, I recognize this passage, I think. Major Steadfast Hopkins v. Azilla Midnight, the deposition of Free Gift Hopkins, aged about 14 years, who testified and said that on the 14th of April, 1705, I saw the apparition of Azola Midnight come and afflict me and did torture me most grievously. I verily bl believe in my heart that Azola Midnight is a dreadful witch. Free Gift Hopkins affirmed to the jury of inquest that the above written evidence is the truth upon the oath she has formerly taken in court of Oyer and Terminer, September 9th, 1705. Trial transcripts from Massachusetts State Historical Archives, Hopkinsville. Yeah, so this is actually about the, the origin of that whole thing. The the girl who decided to just... She basically just trolled the entire town, is what happened. And, and decided to blame it on someone and caused the whole witch panic. Dreadful Witch. And thou hast consort with the devil? Nay, I have not had consort with the devil. When dost thou first consort with the devil? Nay, I say again, I am innocent. So these are the transcripts from the trial. Confess thine witchcraft, wench, and end thine torment. Should thou remain obstinate in thine sin, thou should suffer tortures most foul. Yeah, trial transcripts, I was right on that. Okay. Azola Midnight was subjected to an unusual form of torture called the Dark Walk for three days, but she continued to maintain her in innocence. She was eventually sentenced to hang, but she always protested that she was not a witch.
Blackrock Trial Reconsidered by Donald E. Westingmore, PhD, University of Massachusetts Press in 2010. I really do need to look up more information on this because this stuff is actually pretty fascinating just because it's it just shows how bad human nature can get. Tested that she was not a witch. Azola Midnight was carried in a cart through the streets of Black Rock Township to execution. When he was upon the ladder, she made a proclamation not to the goodly peoples of Black Rock who had assembled to see God's justice be done. A pox upon your heads and the heads of your children forever, spoke Azola Midnight, followed by much chatter in the heathen tongue of her people before she was silenced by the hangman's noose. A special curse I call upon the house of the Reverend Hopkins and his kins, saith Azola, anonymous, of the witch at Black Rock pamphlet, circa 1720. So obviously something that she probably didn't actually say, and because she was obviously not white... They did, yeah. A pox. As soon as she was turned off, hung, the Reverend Hopkins addressed himself to the people, saying that the devil often had been transformed into the angel of light, and this did somewhat appease the people, and the executions went on. When she, Azola Midnight, was cut down, she was dragged by a halter to a hole or grave between the rocks about two feet deep. She was so put in that one of her hands and her chin and a foot of one of them was left uncovered. Same anonymous guy. The Reverend Steadfast Hopkins died of a mysterious illness within the year. The rest of the Hopkins family is believed to have perished during a cholera outbreak in 1706. This is from Black Rock Trial Reconsidered. Donald E. Westingmore, Ph.D. The Curious Incident at Black Rock Township Twine Game by Bitter Corella Additional information comes from the Hopkinsville Historical Society and the Black Rock State Park Archives Okay, so this is a short little thing uh, I obviously did not go through every single link uh, So if you want to check it out for yourself I will have it in the description below This is interesting just because it's It's basically what started the whole witch panic in the 1700s and uh, I do want to actually read more about that. I think my sister would be interested in this as well, so I'll probably send it to her. Uh, so, anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys next time, most likely in Layers of Fear. And uh, have a great time wherever you may be. Bye, guys.